And this week's episode is a special edition because it's the Winner Lego catalog. Literally came in the mail just the other day. And, uh, of course, I have to go through it. Um, and so this is a special edition book club number, episode number 27. We haven't, uh, I think it's been a month since we've done a book club. And, you know, my only reading material is Lego catalogs. That's all I have to say. Uh, or, uh, next week, you know, we've got, uh, the character encyclopedias we can go through. So, happy to do that. But we'll save that for next week. Today, the theme, uh, of course, is... It's the official Christmas 2022. It's got all the new releases that uh, Lego's been dropping on us. My wallet is absolutely hurting. I will say that I completely screwed up. Uh, I was planning on getting the Castaway promotion and completely blew it. Um, it said that Castaway would be available from the 1st all the way through the 13th. Um, of course, while supplies last... I tried to order on the 10th, and it was already out of stock on lego.com, so I guess I'm out of luck. I may call to a couple different Lego stores, see if they have happen to have any left. Uh, if not, I'm basically screwed. Um, there is double VIP and also the Halloween pack, although the rumor is that there's going to be a Christmas pack, VIP pack, um, that actually looks better than the Halloween pack, so... I may wait. I don't know. I'm all screwed up. I may even wait till like next year to do any purchases. I don't know. I'm like kind of blown up over this whole castaway thing. I had planned out getting the ATTE and then it just all fell apart. But enough of that. Let's get to the catalog. Um, it's first of all, it's really thick. It very much features now. You know, for you resellers out there, you know these winter sets are amazing. They're great value because you've got a lot. I think it's got a bigger market. You know, market. You've got anywhere from kids and families that are buying into it, adults that want to put it into like a, some sort of a scene, and uh, very displayable. Sometimes they'll just break it out, break it down, and then rebuild it every year, or maybe they just set it aside and then pull it out every Christmas. We used to do that with all of the holiday stuff, although my, uh, I'm really messed up now. So I'm not really buying any of these sets. Uh, but that was what's what's featured up front. There's a whole, it's part of the icons. They did a whole Main Street. So holiday Main Street, you know, getting on that, that building action. Um, it's pretty cute. I will say it's a trolley and two two houses. Oh, they, they say, hey, for kids, make your wish, wish list. For the first time, there's Duplo in a winter scene. Uh, Santa's visits, very good. Um, yeah, you know, it's nothing. I kind of feel like it's a house plus an advent calendar. Uh, speaking of advent calendars, those are all coming. And you never know. I may have ordered one, <laughs> you know. So, um, let's see. Christmas tree. There's wintertime bears. Santa sleigh, which is the the uh, the uh, reindeer battle pack, man, I think it's forty bucks. Jeez, I don't know. <clears throat> you got Duplo, not into it. You've got more Duplo, Disney. This is one. You know, it's interesting. Dot, Dot's got two pages, but there's not much on here. It's all Mickey Mouse. In stitching, I do not like the direction of where Dots is staying. I feel like Dots is going to die if it stays in the state of Mickey Mouse. It's just, I mean, yes, you know, little boys and girls, you're always going to get them and being crafty, but I feel like that market could just go away and not be as successful as if you incorporate it into other themes. I think it's great to continue doing dots and bracelets and all that stuff. Don't get me wrong. Make it for kids, but then you 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 need to attract in a wider audience. And I don't I don't understand it. This unicorn creativity family pack, no go. Not happening. So, 40 bucks on top of it all. Um okay, so then there's a little bit of friends and you know, the friend sets are really impressive, not for me. You know, the art school is pretty neat. I don't know. There's a lot of nature type stuff. 
organic farm. Oh, appealing to our uh, organic side. That's interesting. A lot of pet stuff. There's always tons of pet stuff. Recycling truck. I kind of feel like Friends is kind of like the, you know, the new city where they kind of bring out different vehicles and different things. Water, like a small water park. So you could do an addition to your previous water park. More Duplo. I don't know. Dinosaurs. Makes sense to do 4 plus. That's like, I, I think the Jurassic World is very much for kids. I really like that. T-Rex Breakout. Very interesting. Uh, I feel like it's kind of redone. Not much. They're kind of done with dinosaurs, at least for this. So maybe in spring. And then they've got the Lego City, which is revolving around rescue missions. Looks like they've got some spacecraft, which is interesting. And then the stunt doubles, they've got those, a lot of that going on. Then they jumped into space as another area. I'm definitely not interested in this. I'm not getting into it. Hey, what do you know? Another fire station. <laughs> and fire and police rescue. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> then they jump into Ninjago. Ninjago is going with like a gold theme. You just look at the page and it's very gold. Uh, in nature more mechs oh there goes my jacket what do you know some purples some interesting stuff there uh, Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon wow pretty awesome and then oh Wakanda Forever has got a couple sets the uh, the massive bust of Black Panther which I mean are people really buying that thing 350 bucks. Jeez. 3,000 pieces. So it's less than 3,000 pieces. $349. Now I will sell just looking at it. There are some complex parts. I don't see it. Does it even come with a minifigure? Jeez. This lab's pretty cute. 4 plus. Hmm. Spider Man. Nope. Nope. These like buildable figures are interesting. I think that's better than... They look better than the Star Wars ones. Which, if you want Darth Vader, I'm selling it. On uh, Journal of the Scots Macari store. It's listed today. Then, they only gave... Well, there's a bunch of Star Wars, of course. But I don't really like this new layout. Are they really trying to still sell the child? I mean, seriously? For 90 bucks, And then the Dark Trooper attack... Four figures for $34.99. Man, I'm glad I got that for a discount. I got it for uh, this puppy right here. It's a nice set, but it's definitely not worth more than 30 bucks. They're uh, still featuring the, ra the original Razor, Razor Crest, still selling Mandalorian. You know, really, ultimately, this is all man. This is a whole page of Mandalorian right here. Another page of Mandalorian, more Mandalorian, or slash Book of Boba, and uh, and this this would be uh, Book of Boba as well. So really, between the Mandalorian and Book of Boba is dominating the advertising for Star Wars. Um, I don't know. Like I've lost interest in the Justifier. I'm really kind of it's really irritating to me to have Cad Bane. And Omega in such an expensive set. Like, there is no way on earth I'm paying $170 for that ship. I just, I have no space. None. But, I will I will drop 20 bucks on four figures, you know, for the battle pack, which is nice. And then they've got Obi-Wan's Jedi, Jedi Starfighter, which is good, and it comes with Tom Wee. Oh, this happened last time. They did not even put Tan Wee in here, which is like, okay, this is nuts. Lego, you have to be s crazy stupid. Look at that. What's missing? Where's Tan Wee? Literally, this is the only reason to get this set. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's a nice model, and we all want Obi-Wan. But by the way, there's another Obi-Wan, an Obi-Wan. How many Obi-Wans are there? Let's see. Okay, so there's only two. So two, two Obi-Wans. Do we really? 
than the ATTE, which I'll definitely get. The one thing I'm thinking of doing though is I'm I'm thinking of this might be risky, but I'm waiting. I may wait for May the fourth and then have this be my May the fourth uh, purchase. Because then the way I look at it is that I could get the ATTE plus a battle pack and get to the $150 threshold is kind of what I'm looking at. So that's the plan. Oh, another page. Of course, they had to drop the Razor Crest, 600 bucks. No way in hell I'll ever buy that. It's just way too big. It looks amazing, and it really irritates me to have Keel and uh, the Mythal mithril character only can get in this set like that guy keel should have been in 100 percent should have been a microfighter i think that was probably the microfighter but somehow it got moved into this for next year that was just the dumbest thing i've ever seen maybe we will get a microfighter of of um keel but and you know in the blurg but uh I don't know. And then they should put the mithril in a... They just have to put him in a generic speeder. I think it would it, it would fly off the shelves. I think... I don't know about Mario. I feel like... I think it's on... Borrowed time. I think... I don't know how this lasts. A lot of Mario fans. I'm definitely not one of them. They're coming out with more stuff. Although I'm not seeing what's new. Oh, the Mighty Bowser. Okay, so... Damn, that's pretty rad. <laughs> that's 270 bucks. It's not even... It's 2,800 pieces. Although it looks like a lot of big ones. For the unique shaping. So that's pretty wild. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Let's see Harry Potter I'm just gonna skip you know I was interested back in the day for my kids but it's just uh, I mean the buildings are amazing the shrieking shack and whomping willow together combo looks amazing that really looks sharp so I don't know if you'll be able to see that but that's a pretty solid model from a distance and the horntail dragon i've got that um the smaller version of that which is really cool magical trunk lots of stuff hogwarts express not interested 500 dollars out the door epic adventures oh so avatars avatar hits zero interest in avatar i thought it was an okay movie it just uh, you know it just doesn't do anything for me from a character standpoint. Um, of course, I'm building the Majestic Tiger, so that's been listed. I would love to get the Viking ship. Did they just increase the price on that? Damn it. I'm pretty sure it was $99, and now it's 120 Jeez. When you go online, Vikings are expensive in terms of individual figures. How many... Let's see, eight shields... How many figures does it come with? It doesn't say. It has eight shields. Okay, so there's four Vikings. I don't know. For 120 bucks? God, Lego. This is like stealing money from me. The Minecrafters. Uh, I don't see much new. So, Ice Castle, Training Grounds. That's it. Minecraft only getting two pages. I don't know. Is it me or is Minecraft kind of like... It's like a slow burn. I think it'll keep going for a while, but... It may be down to its last couple years. I don't know. Maybe it'll keep going. I may be nuts. Um, let's see. Now we're into like more Technic style. Rescue helicopters. Some of the cars. They always do really well. Fast and the Furious Speed Champions. Those $20 cars, $20 and $30 cars look really nice. Then, of course, Lego had to go go all in on Halloween that's coming up. There's some cute stuff, but I'm just, I'm kind of right now, 
I'm so focused on Star Wars right now. I'm and distracted by Castle. <laughs> the Galaxy Explorer is a phenomenal set if you're super hardcore into space, but unfortunately with Star Wars and with this castle, I'm like afraid to spend any more money. Because I want this castle so bad. So I gotta keep saving my money. Um, Optimus Prime is it's one of the better sets I think of the year. That's really solid, but I definitely I don't have enough nostalgia to make me get it. Oh, we gotta dedicate some pages to the flowers, which makes a ton of sense in a catalog. In fact, I think I'm surprised they don't do something around that because, or maybe do like a like a leaf, some sort of a wreath would have been good. Um, because these are good gifts. Like I could see these being phenomenal gifts for during the holidays. Vincent Van Gogh, Starry Night. That's a beyond amazing set. Motorized Lighthouse. You know what's crazy is that we have a... My wife did a drawing of that and has it framed, so it would be cool to put it next to each other. The new Lighthouse. The motorized one, that's pretty neat. Um, let's see, the Office is supposedly new, but it's not new. Okay. Be a VIP. Build with story, not instructions. Interesting. City missions. Yeah, there wasn't very many city sets. And then at the very back, the Iron Man armory. Right? So it's because a lot of figures. So, I'm losing my voice. I don't know why. But, uh, a lot of good stuff. It's not a bad catalog. I mean, it's, it's the winter... Winter 2022, there's a lot of sets out there. There's a lot of money to be spent on sets. So that is it for Book Club episode number 27. I guess it'd be an emergency session because when that catalog comes, I got to kind of drop my thoughts on it. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe. It really helps the channel. And we'll catch you on the next Book Club. Bye for now.